Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is a general reading for July 19th until the 31st. As always, thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button, hit the bell for it truly helps my channel grow, bringing that consciousness and awareness and a shift in your own reality. If you like a personal reading with me, that information is in the link below. And thank you to all those who have donated and supported my channel and me growing it at this time. So let's get started. I'm going to first see the light and shadow aspect of what you are experiencing or could be experiencing within the next two weeks. Okay, the card that wants to come out that came out in its shadow aspect. So let's go ahead and read it. It says romantic charm and potential for power using power for self um, aggrandizement. So again, are you doing things out of, um, you know, self-fulfilling? when it comes to the matters of the heart? Or are you doing things out of service, out of love, out of a place of just, you know, you just are. So where are you right now when it comes to the matters of the heart? This is really saying for you to pay attention to that. It's the Prince of Cups kind of feeling here. So, you know, where are you needing to make an apology? Where are you not being true to yourself when it comes to heart? Where are you not being your true self? Literally, where are you not? Are you coming from a place of this charm and of romantic and the potential for greatness? Or are you not? Are you using it in a different direction here? We have the martyr at the bottom of the deck. So addiction to self-pity, which goes to that, right? Which goes to this using power for self-aggrandizement. Um, or are you learning to transcend nature of service to oneself or a cause? So again, love is all there is, but how are you showing up for that? Are you showing up in a place of need, addiction, and um, self-pity as a victim? Or are you showing up from this place of newness, you know, really recognizing your own emotions and your feelings and how you show up to life? Let's see what's coming on here for the dream. What are you seeing within a dream? We have the mountain and the hill and airplane. So two similar meanings here. You're to really, to what? To reach your goals, to rise above. To rise above what? To rise above being you. And I mean that with so much love and respect for Pisces here. Here it says, spread your wings and fly. Yeah, it's time for you to ascend. It's time for you to realize life in a new way, to look at things from a new perspective, to rise above your challenges when it comes to the emotional body. Again, I'm going to go back to that. By what? By elevating, by really seeing things you know, from a bigger picture. Are you seeing life through a bigger lens? Or are you still stuck seeing things from an old emotionally um, wounded space you know where are you right now when it comes to your life when it comes to the matters of the heart when it comes to the matters of your life are you ascending are you seeing things from a new perspective are you still stuck in self-pity and victimhood and addictions so really something for you to look at for the next two weeks here let's see what is being activated here for you and i'll take this card and this card says romantic love. Yeah, I can totally pick it up from the beginning. But this is totally, and then look at this. We have also the card of transition. Yeah, you're meant to shift your DNA. You're meant to transition. You're meant to change the way you show up for love, the way you receive, the way you give. And it's to see things from an elevated place, from a place of what transitioning to a higher version of you, tapping into this new energy. So this is saying the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover. So again, we cannot be conscious with an unconscious behavior. So it's asking you to become very conscious in regards to your relationships. What is it that you're experiencing right now? And this is saying you're already whole. Are you seeking wholeness in somebody else? Are, what is that person reflecting back to you? Again, recognize you're already masculine, you're already feminine, you don't need, so anytime we go to that, I need love, or I need you to behave this way, or I need you to be somebody you're not, it, what becomes is that you're really, it's being reflected back to you, where within you do you lack self-respect, where within you do you lack self-love, where within you do you need to heal, so addiction to self-pity, if you don't love me, then I'll leave, if you don't, if you don't show me what I want from you, that means you don't love me, so there's a narrative here that you're to rise above when it comes to the matters of the heart, huge message, let's see what the flower of life what message wants to come out for Pisces? What is the message that is coming out for my Pisces? And if one does not fall out, I will go ahead and just cut the deck. 
nope, one does not want to come out. So let's, this one, I will take, look at that, look at this. And then we have also love and fear and weave your life, right? So love, love can overcome and heal anything. Love is all and anything else is fear. Are you kidding me? Look at that, everything I was just saying, right? Love is a state of being, not an emotion to make you feel good when you think something is missing. <laughs> wow, just reiterating what I just said. When you truly become love, you will see and feel that nothing is missing. Look beyond your perceived assumptions about everything to see into the heart of all. At the heart of all experience is unconditional love. Yes, when you are completely present, you will feel the gift, you're present. The gift may show itself as a good or bad situation. However, it is time to unwrap your present experience, tear off the wrapping, and find your gift, the gift of love. And then we do have love and fear. So it says love and fear cannot exist in the same space or at the same time as they are very different vibrations. If you're feeling fear, imagine breathing in green or pink light and feel any fear or lower energies transforming into love. Now you're fully present and in a vibration of love. You feel safe knowing exactly what to do in any circumstance or situation. This is now your reality. Say to yourself, I trust that I am a channel of love and wisdom. My higher self will guide me at all times and in all situations. Now that I know this, I can relax, have fun, live my present in each moment. It goes to everything I just said. The fear is the martyr. The fear is the prince in reverse. You're to elevate, elevate how you see yourself in relationships, how you show up. We're not here to change others. All we are here to do is change our perception of how we see things, right? Let's see what is coming on here for you. And let's keep going. Okay, so here I'm going to do another shuffle at the, at the bottom and then we'll see what comes up. Ten of air. What you're releasing is the ten of swords energy. But then this is all about the feathers. So when this card comes out, it's saying it's time for you to release all the thoughts of the past. Not being good enough, the self-sabotage, the pain, the hurt, the past experiences. What you're here to do is release yourself from that. It's time for an ace of air, for your own truth, for your own clarity, right? Living authentically you. So you're here to elevate and to let go of the things that have held you in the prison of you, of self-pity, of victimhood. It's asking you to release yourself with the card of patience here. The card shows up and says, hey, this is the time where you're bringing yourself into a place of balance, into a place of wholeness. And this is asking you, what is it that you are not seeing? The patience card is a card of moderation. This is the card of, of the Sagittarian card. Um, oh my God, the, the sign just left me really quick. What is it? Temperance. So this card is coming in saying, it's reminding you here that you are the one to recognize your own alignment. Where are you not in alignment with the outer and the inner of yourself? So again, bringing yourself into wholeness, into balance, into oneness. Again, all these cards are telling you that. The king of fire is asking you to show up from a place of the heart to start something new. How are you showing up for yourself? It's a king. It comes recognizing again that love is all there is. It's a Leo card. It could also be Aries or Sagittarius. But it's saying, you know, it brings balance. So relationships come, love and fear come so you can understand it, so you can bring harmony and balance in your life. And to know that when we come from a space of the heart, then all falls into place. But when we come from a space of fear and ego, that's when things get wobbly, right? That's where we need to really look at ourselves to see what needs to shift when it comes to the matters of the heart, okay? Four of water, four of water is saying, where are you feeling complacent at this time? Where are you not seeing the beauty? There's a lot of things that are being presented to you. You know, what is it that you are repeating when the four of water comes out? This is you dreaming and introspecting again, one more time of um, you're being given an abundance of emotional stability here. So are you taking it? There's a chance for you to dream bigger for yourself. Are you taking it? Or are you staying in the past? The seven of air talks about it's it's the seven of swords. So the seven of swords is when we steal from ourselves. This is when we become cheated. We cheat others or others cheat us. This is the thief card. This is like my one of my least favorite cards in the tarot. 
And there's reason for that is that because, you know, there's a time where we can steal ourselves from our own desires in order to have great love because we go into a place of fear. So this card is a card of independence. It's a card for you to really living in life on your own terms without people pleasing. So are you people pleasing again in order because you're in fear? So is there a fear going on here for you for the next two weeks that is showing up here for you? Let's go ahead and grab see in reverse ace of ace of water there's a fear of intimacy there's a fear of new beginnings here yeah with the fortunes wheel some of you keep doing the same thing again and again and again and the next card again you're, you're afraid to leave an emotional thing that you've been attached to with the eight of water in reverse the ace of water is about healing healing yourself from the inside out recognizing you're already whole so some of you are not feeling that wholeness some of you are still in fear some of you are really needing some uh, to really love yourself to give to you to nurture to self-care instead of having codependency on love so this is saying you have all that you need that is within you you're really to face it and allow the wheel to turn it's unfortunate when we don't learn the experience and the experience is asking you to release yourself from the patterns of the past so you can move away from the things that are emotionally done, this emotion, with, whether it's the relationship of you with you. So this would be in its upright, would be leaving situations that are done. You've experienced a certain emotion, certain feelings, and certain relationships in a certain way. Now it's time for you to move towards the ninth cup. But this is saying there's a fear of leaving the old self, you know, a fear of leaving that which you know, that which you know is the way that you think, feel and show up for yourself. So it's asking you to really shift to come out of that and yes, to start a new, to go in a new direction with the page of earth. It's saying to put, lay down a new foundation for yourself, to choose to go in a new direction, to leave the emotional body behind and to bring balance back in your life and to come out of the self-pity or anything that has to do fear when it comes to love and to elevate so you can learn the lessons of what each relationship has taught you and all of it really brings you into what? Into wholeness is what is coming and saying to you. So these uh, next two weeks, really pay attention and how you love is it from a place of fear? Is it from a place of rejection, abandonment? Where are you coming from? And really turn yourself inward so you can expand your consciousness in how you love and how you show up for another and how you show up for yourself, right? So the tingle witch, she says there is magic in beginnings. Yeah, a start something new. Hello. Yeah, it's about writing a new story. It's about starting love in a new way. It's about starting life in a new way. One that is stable, one that is secure, one that is safe. But it's up to you. Nobody can do it for you. If you're looking for somebody else to become what you need them to be, then that is a time for self-reflection. And when you can do self-reflection, reflection then you're raising your consciousness and you're really recognizing the difference between love and fear if you're not a subscriber tap the button and hit the bell until next time sending you much love much light namaste